Oh my God, I can't believe you did this. It's right here. Wow, the streets are absolutely amazing. This is um, Bergdorf Goodman and, oh wow, Michael, look at the, look, look at the window. Okay, we need to go and see that up close and look as well at the changing snowflake light up there. But we're going to see if we can um, park and then we can come back and look at this closer. But um, this is so, so nice. I came to see this with Paula, but I didn't see these windows with her. Wow, these are beautiful, Michael. So right now we are looking for parking. Oh my God, that kept so close. I don't know how he manages to get through these little like slivers of space, but that's how, that's Michael's driving. My God, it's just <laughs> rammed. So we are here on Fifth Avenue. How beautiful. It looks a little bit closer up. Wow, that looks so, so nice. Just looking at that. For once, I actually don't feel like picking up the camera and taking videos and photos and stuff. Just yeah, because I'm this. picking up the camera instead. It's like crossing the road in Tokyo. Look at this. I mean, this is just absolute, absolute madness. I feel like such a tourist right now, but I can't help it. I know. Just look at this. So cool. Okay, so what do you that think? Was that was it behind us, by the way. Where is it? Right there. Cool. It was really beautiful. No, it was beautiful seeing that. Oh, look at it. Anyway, that was amazing just watching that whole light up, the show. Just yeah. even the orchestra sound was really yeah. pretty. And the colors, the way those flowers, like the way they come so to crazy. life. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Stunning. Turning around so you can see. This was beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I caught, I captured most of it so you could see. But um, yeah, I just thought it was really, really cool. So. in my tracks that is unbelievable wow oh yeah trouble <laughs> r-o-u-b-l-e <laughs> oh my gosh but so so wow that was so striking this is tiffany as you can see but that necklace was was so amazing oh look at that ring Goodness. Okay, anyway, let's go eat. They've wrapped the corner of Louis Vuitton building. But look over here. It's really, really nice. I love it. It's so nice to see. Right now, we are going to eat. I booked um, for us to eat dinner. Oh, we can go. So we're going to have dinner at inside Rogdorf Goodman. Oh, and inside? You didn't say that. You just said bye. Okay. Did I? Did I really? Actually, you didn't even say bye. You just alluded. Anyway, that was very good. Very clever. What? I didn't even realize I didn't know what it was inside we were going. I thought it was just around Bergdorf Goodman. It looks so chic. I like her coat. How cool that coat is. Just that whole vibe of her. So cool. Anyway, so we are going into Bergdorf right now. That's gorgeous. Look at that. 
it's so pretty. Okay. Hey, how are you on YouTube? Oh my god, you're on camera! <laughs> You look amazing. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Wow. Thank you for helping her. You're doing a wonderful job, right? Thank you, thank yes. You. <laughs> you are doing a wonderful job helping her, taking the content below. Thank you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so sweet. Right? That was so cool. That was so sweet. Oh, wow. <gasps> look at this gingerbread thing. That. How cute. Is that that's not real is it I mean you can't you can't really eat yeah I don't think true but it does look real though doesn't it gorgeous yeah so we're inside Bergdorf just wanted to show you some of the things on the first floor before we start to go upstairs beautiful bags Kate is over this way all right so we are going to take a lift to go upstairs yeah we're going to take the yeah we're going to take the elevator as americans would say um and head upstairs now i have the truffle chicken. truffle chicken pot pie from the menu and this is a side of truffle potatoes so you can't say that i don't like there it is you can't say that i don't like um mash really and potatoes and chicken pot pie as well and then we've got here, what's this? What's this? Oh, this is the dunk, duck dumplings. And then we have the lobster bisque. And then also shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail? Yeah. Cool. Okay. And how's the drink? How's the drink? Shall we? How do you go wrong? It's good. Oh, and we ordered one more thing. What did we order? <laughs> <laughs> it looks too good. With I know. You know when something goes by and you go, oh my God, that looks so good. The lobster, mac the lobster mac and cheese. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, we ordered that as well, so that's coming as well. I don't know how we're going to manage, but we will. Somehow we will. But um, this is the restaurant, so you can see how it is. Cool, it's cozy, it's low ceiling, and if you're ever on Fifth Avenue and you go into the Bergdorf Goodman department store, which I recommend because it's really good, just eye candy as well, definitely come upstairs to the seventh floor and come to this restaurant. Make a reservation, lunch or dinner. All right, time to eat. It's good, really? <laughs> All right, time to eat. Oh, it goes in my coat. I think we're in trouble. I think, oh God. What's the price? Wait, how much is this? Turn around. I know how much it is, like 2,000 and change. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> I said two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <gasps> They're gorgeous. Wow. Look at that, Michael. Merry Christmas. Well, this is the gift. This is the gift that I would take for the end of year, all my hard work. I would have these. And then when he hears the price, he goes, no, we'll, we'll find something else. But oh my God. <gasps> wow. Lee. Stunning. Really gloves were stuck. Tell me what you comment below and tell me what you think of the Scaparelli gloves. Well, they, they look they cool. They just, yeah, they, oh. I ain't gonna lie.
happened? He says to me, I thought, what was it? Santa's boxes are, oh, it's Christmas day. Merry Christmas. I thought Santa's boxes are only red. And he said it a couple of times. I didn't know what he meant. And then he took my phone and recorded, which I'll show you in a moment. You literally want to see a live reaction to something he showed me. Oh my God, I can't believe you did this. It's right here. This, right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Michael. Yes, Miss Karen. You are terrible. You're terrible. Merry Christmas. Oh my God. <sighs> Okay I'm, okay, I'm gonna calm down. Um, I'm gonna calm down and I'm gonna insert here my actual, my actual moment, because Michael recorded it. You're such a, you're something else. Honestly, you, you really are. I can't get, because I, I just had something to eat and I'm about to make cocoa tea with fresh cocoa sticks from St. Lucia. Has anyone ever seen this? Comment below if you've seen these. This is Cocoa Sticks from St. Lucia. And this is the, this is how, this is what produces chocolate. And cocoa, in its purest form, is not sweet. It's actually, it's actually quite bitter in a way. It's the sugar that makes it sweet. So I'm not sure if you guys knew that or not. But anyway, some tidbit of information. So I'm just grating here. Um, and I'm going to grate this up and I'm going to make it um the cocoa tea right there but anyway oh thank you you don't even know what it is i know but i know <laughs> <laughs> you're hilarious <laughs> okay i'm gonna go i'll show you right now okay i thought santa's boxes were ready. michael surprises me with something under the christmas tree <laughs> oh my god! I didn't see that! Oh! Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh! Okay, so I think Michael would like me to open this now, so I will. What is this? Michael's Christmas gift from Tiffany. I can't believe you. And I told you I haven't got you anything for Christmas. And I've been tearing my, if I, I know what Michael wants for Christmas. And what he wants is, it's as, not problematic. Yeah, there you go. Okay, they can't see it, it's tracking my face. Let me hold oh. it up. This is what Michael wants. This is what, this is what he wants. He wants one of these. <laughs> he wants, this is what he wants. This is what he's wanted all his life for as long as we can remember. I have one, mine is from a collaboration with eBay that does have an authenticity service. So that's how I got mine through a job. But Michael has always wanted a specific, I even know the watch, it's a Submariner, preferably with a blue face, and you want that, um, I know, I can't know, I don't know the official name of the dial, of the, the, the band, but I know what it looks like. So I know the, I know exactly the one he wants, but it's a bit like Hermes where you can't literally, literally just walk into the, a watch shop for Rolex and just say, I want that. So they have waiting lists and all this. Anyway, I know that's what my It's not about me. Wants. It's not about me. But <laughs> I know I'm going to get you instead. Let's put it that way. So. Oh, a Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> Your taste. <laughs> Our taste. Oh my lord! It's got weight to it. Now oh, I already know. I know I'm going to get you already. So. Oh my god. Oh, feel that. It feels like velvet. Are they seeing this? Can I see the box? They can see. Shall I let them see before me, or shall I look? Well, you should look first. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. Oh! Oh! God, that sounded so loud! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was so loud. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. 
Okay, I've always loved this, the tea bracelet by Tiffany for as long as I can remember myself. I've always loved this bracelet for years. I've even walked into the store by myself, not with anyone with me. I've tried it on and then I walk out again. Michael didn't even know when I used to do that. And then, oh my God, you remembered! You remembered! Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! Ah! Oh! oh! It's gorgeous! It even looks good with the the watch because of the silver. Look here. Oh. <laughs> hey, sorry, I was actually talking to you. That's why. Like, this is oh, I love this. It's absolutely. Oh, I haven't done my nails. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Oh. I love it. It's the right and it's the right size. How did you know this was my size? No, I'm curious. Can you say? You can't say. Yeah, I can. Um, it's actually a good story. I walk in and I'm like. I know what you want, but clearly I don't know, I don't have your wrist with me. So I reached out to a couple of your girlfriends and both of them really didn't have an idea on that. And I said, that's all right, I'll figure it out. Who? So I ended up talking to one of the salespeople, <laughs> and, or the essays as, as you will. But what was cool about it is there was two of them approaching me and there was something about this guy that I actually really liked and I just immediately gravitated to him. Anyway, long story was, he said, do you have a photo? And I said, I don't of have me. a photo. I said, but I could just pull up her Instagram. But I quickly like hid who your name was. And I just showed video and photos of, of your wrist. Oh, I know that it then, doesn't matter. but Yeah, but he figured it out just by looking, looking. at the photos. It was one photo that you had taken. And he goes, I like that one. Oh. He goes, that, that, let me see. He zoomed in and he goes, I know exactly, medium. <gasps> and I went, all right. And he goes, but if we can't. We might be able to order you one. By the way, that was the last one. And it wasn't even like he had to look it up. And he goes, we don't have any. And then he came back and he says, let me see what I can do. Came back with it. Oh, it my is. gosh. It's perfect. It Thank is you, Matthew. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say his name or not. But yes. I, oh, shout out to Matthew. Yes. From Tiffany's. Yeah. Thank you. When did you do this? Oh, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> is it supposed to matter? I know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, you are an absolute rock star. And thank, you, thank you so much. Ah! God, I've got to stop screaming. I know this is annoying. So I made cocoa tea, traditional cocoa tea from St. Lucia with real cocoa sticks, nutmeg from St. Lucia, cinnamon from St. Lucia. My first stab at it, and it actually came out really good. I just drank it. But Michael, who's going to be extra bougie, he's going to make it again. And I know what you're going to do. You're going to try and make it better than mine. Always one up -ing. You are, actually. So, so I'm curious to see how yours is going to come out in comparison to the one that oh. I just made. I know. We're going to find out, though. <sighs> Something tells me yours is better. What's that in the can, though? Oh, cornstarch. Oh... Okay. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. it's cornstarch. There's no wheat. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's now done. So now I just need to add the milk, the sugar. Yeah. Some vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. Okay. Oh, that's the one thing I did not put on is vanilla, put in is vanilla extract. So you're going to do that. Well, I have to say, it still came out quite good. So I'm quite, I'm quite chuffed. I'm very impressed because I... Yeah. I what? Speak. I'm trying to see what this is. But you can speak at the same time, huh? No. We don't have to do one at a time. No. Like women, we have to, we can is multitask. This, is this toothpaste? It, it's not. I think it is. Anyway, what? I think we have toothpaste. <laughs> God. Yeah, still a little bit there. Anyway, see, you're weird. Husband and wife do weird things. I know. Right, you so don't have to be what? husband and wife to do weird things, trust me. So what were you trying to say? I bet you've forgotten. I did. <laughs> I this is the best part about husband and wives, though, because they can help. 
I'm not gonna help you with shit, so yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna help you with that toothpaste in your hair still. This, oh, there is something in there. Oh my god, look you at me, it? I look like What's death warmed up. I should at least put a little bit of concealer on. Bloody hell, Karen, I look like an extra from like Michael Jackson's Thriller video. Oh, look, look, look at my eyes, look, look at my eyes. You look great. Oh god, you're not that bad. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go, but it's Christmas today. Yes, Merry Christmas. And all. yeah, and it's lovely. And we're gonna find out who has the better cup of tea. I, I have no idea. See, that's what he wants. I knew this is what he wants to do. You wanna find out who makes better I tell you. Anyway, and these are cocoa sticks fresh from St. Lucia. Yeah. Just dip it like in the Let me know below if anyone has had this cocoa. This is how you know when you eat chocolate? This is where it originates from. This is where it begins the journey. So I want comment below if you have experienced real, genuine cocoa. Not what you get from a chocolate bar. Not like the ones that says like cacao that says hundred yeah, percent cocoa. You know, in the wrappers. I'm talking that's, about that's a hundred percent cocoa. This that right grows there. from the trees. Have you ever had that? That's the coke I want to know. So anyway, I'm going to go and we'll catch up with you a bit later. Right, and um, Time to pour up my... Michael knows how much I've wanted that bracelet. It has literally been years, that long. So I just, oh, I completely forgot about it. I had no idea you were thinking of... Oh. Anyway, enough. I'm going to go now. There's no sugar yet, but you have to try Happy Boxing Day. Oh, my stomach just growled. Um, I'm actually heading into the city because I need to buy some thank you cards and I want to go out and cue Jimmy Fallon. Thank you. That's literally what I'm going to be doing. So I want to do that. So this is what I'm wearing before I leave. So this is the infamous comment, please. I want to know who my OG subscribers are. Do you know about the camel? coat and the significance of showing a camel on the screen every time I say camel. Well this is that camel coat. Beautiful, never going to get rid of this thing, it's so cool, kind of mensy, in fact it is, it's a men's coat. It's one of those things that just stands the test hello, of time. So I'm wearing it with my usual gammy jeans, the black, you know, the wide leg ones, you guys know about this. This one is new though, I got this during the Black Friday sales. This is a polo neck with like a little bit of a twisted neck detail. You can see, yeah. And it's by Unknown Source. No, Source Unknown. I always say it the other way around, but it's by them. And I'm going to carry the Box Kelly, the size 32, the vintage one. And I've got that. I love this color. So playing up with that color. And especially because it's winter time, I love the idea of just doing like really kind of like strong kind of lipstick and dark you know jewel tone bag so that's the vibe i'm going for um and that's kind of it and i'm gonna wear this is my fragrance of toujours which is by tom ford and it smells oh god it smells fantastic it smells so damn good it's my liquid line liner because i'm gonna do a little touch up here because my eye keeps watering this one and when it does it removes the liner so I'm going to bring this with me so when my eyes calm down I'll be able to like put the liner back on there but that is kind of it um, I'm also going to go to what oh I have to do something at Tiffany's and it's regarding what I got so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm not sure the sizing I think the sizing is, is right but I'm going to just to for peace of mind I'm going to try a size smaller just to see the size smaller fits better. And if it just is too tight, then I know for sure that the size I have is indeed the right size. <sighs> Listen, this is too important for me to not have correct. So I know for me, this is what I want to, to do. And I'm gonna wear it for so long. So I want it to, to fit right. So I think it does. But anyway, it's just to appease me and put my peace of mind in place. <sighs> well, that was a lot of talking. That is it, and I'm gonna go, and that's kind of gonna be my vibe. And I do have sunglasses in here. There are um, these the plain black ones, well, fairly plain. I feel like the size do have a little bit of a logo on it, right there, but not too, too much. 
I kind of would have preferred if it was just plain black, but it's it's fine. I think it kind of works with the hair and the, you know, well, just the hair and the whole outfit, right? Yes, no. So anyway, that's going to be me. Being like, Spy Karen has been activated. Anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> so we are out. I just parked up and look, you can see the decorations still behind me. And they're gorgeous, they're so pretty. So anyway, we are back on Fifth Avenue. And like I said, I want to go to Tiffany's first just to check on the size of the um, bracelet. It's right here <laughs> in the white bag. Can't believe how many people there are though here. It's absolutely ridiculous. I may pop into Bergdorf Goodman as well because I feel like Boxing Day is always like the day when a lot of things go on sale. So I might just, just, just to look, you know those famous last words. Anyway, look at the, look how crowded it is. And turn you around. Can you see? Well, it doesn't look too bad now because everyone's gone. But if you look on the other side of the road, you can see like there's a ton of people. There really is. Like the streets are absolutely heaving. Anyway, let's go. actually like this canvas version and I love the all leather one and obviously like a chocolate brown or like a jewel tone color like a rich cognac burgundy esque but I thought this is actually beautiful right this is a size 15 and I'm not trying it on because I can't be bothered but I'm just saying I appreciate the bag and I love that it's uh, two-toned or it comes in a two-tone because I think this particular combination is beautiful imagine in the spring my favorite candles and they have plates as well but I love their candles I think I've got about four so far I always get them in Paris because they're just so good and I end up when the bottle is used up because they're so pretty I just use them for something like makeup brushes and, and stuff but this is a display one of the displays at Bergdorf Goodman just want to share it with you before I leave because I've decided to not go upstairs. I'm going to be good. I'm just going to go and do what I said, which is to go downtown. So I'm just going to do that and stay, stay focused. You should be proud of me. Anyway, this is Fifth Avenue. See what I mean? It's quite a lot of people. And there's Louis Vuitton opposite. I'm parked literally. If you go uh, right down this road, that's where I'm parked. Hello. Right, so this is my last day before I close off this vlog. I want to quickly just show you what I'm in before I walk out. Walk out the door. Just turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with the badge? Do you think I'd crumble? Do you think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, no, no. I will survive. Like I'm going to get demonetized. I don't think so. Anytime soon. So I'm wearing a Pranky Shop jacket. I love the, it's just one size and it's like the perfect one size because it's just, I mean, look at the arms. It had me that right there. Underneath, I'm wearing my, I guess from my Amazon shop, this jumper. I love it because I have it in like two or three different colors. And then my Ganny jeans, this time in the, the blue. These are the ones that are ultra wide. And I've got my Jadens on. Um, I'm going to carry my Alexander wine bag. This one, it's gorgeous. I love this. It's so good. Look at that. Just the details on it is epic. Um, I don't think I'm going to need my glasses because I'm actually going to pick up my laptop. So that's where I'm going today. But I don't know. I'll have them with me anyway, just in case. I have a red lippy in my bag, but. Sometimes, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to wear that. Um, oh, I'm carrying my little nice concealer, which I really do like. I think I've told you about this concealer before. It's this one. It comes in this little pot here. And it's so good because you just, just, it's finger friendly. And it just brightens underneath your eye. And it doesn't matter if you've already put your makeup on. You just add it and it just, hopefully you can see. 
yeah look at that and that's just using my fingers it's so easy to use and I love it and it's just nice to bring with you if you want to just quickly just touch up your makeup just a little bit just under your eye and it doesn't cake kind of stays in place and I really like it I couldn't even see what I was doing properly anyway so that's that well I'm not going to take it with me because I don't need it anymore so leave that there so I'm going to go and get my laptop because it's on its last leg so I just keep it's the second time I brought it to repair shop so I'm going to do that um, I have a pair of cos boots I'm not going to keep them I'm going to show you them now now I miss my old fry boots I had a pair of fry harness boots and to this day I wish I held on to them I had a black pair that I wore into the ground and then I just it just felt like after years and years and years of wearing them I just thought oh sorry I'm just tired wearing them but I wore them so much, I kind of wish I kept them because they looked so good and they were so broken in. The heel was started, it had like a Cuban heel at the back and that was kind of like just being worn down because of me. So I got these, these are from Cos, these are not fry harness boots, so it's the same vibe. But they just don't look as good, so I don't know. I'm not feeling it, so I'm going to return these. There's just something about them that just looks off. Yeah, so I just, oh, I wish they worked, but... I may have to invest in getting another pair of fry boots. So we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave all together. But anyway, I'm going to return these for sure. So I thought I would end the video by just showing you some pieces that I got for just during Christmas time. Um, so in no particular order, I'm going to start with some fragrances. And these are ones which I have not tried before. And I honestly, they nailed. Now, first is Tom Ford, and I got the fragrance and the candle in the exact same fragrance, and I'm really glad I did. It's called Tom Ford O-U-D Wood. So, O-U-D Wood, this, and it smells. God, the cat, I've already started burning it, see? So in the living room, I like that, whilst I'm watching Mar Marcella on Netflix. Who has seen Marcella? Please comment below. If you like Happy Valley, Luther, Line of Duty, those kind of gritty British police detective type of series, kind of graphic serial killers are looking for, you're gonna love Mar Marcella, although on the show they say Margella. Please watch it, thank me later. Paula, my mate, she turned me onto it because she know I like Luther types um, series. Anyway, so what I was trying to say is, I like the candle and I have that cup of tea, I'm good to go. So this smells fantastic and I'm pretty fussy when it comes to um, fragrances. So this is one of my, probably now up to one of my favorites. And I've already started, you can't really see, but I've already started to make a dent on the fluid, like the actual fragrance is going down because I'm using it that much. If you like kind of woody, sandalwoody, almost like masculine, but it's, you know, masculine androgyny type of sense. Try this one. Another one that I got is by Victoria Beckham Beauty, and this is called Sweet 302 by Victoria Beckham. I love the almost like whiskey bottle, like container, like a flask bottle of it. And I just love that alone. And it's very really clean. The scent is beautiful. It's a bit more complex. <sighs> Why do I think of ginger? It's not ginger, but I feel like there's like an, and you know how ginger has that earthy warmness to it? That's what Sweet 302 is, but it's not ginger, but it has the characteristics of ginger in it. So anyway, I, I another one that I really, really like, um, like I said, I'm pretty fussy with fragrances, but these two in particular, hands down, I love them. Now for clothing or accessories rather, from Jimmy Choo, I received the Bonbon bag. I've never had a bonbon bag before from Jimmy Choo. I've always seen them. They come in a multitude of different colors and you know, textures, etc. sorry. And I got this one, which I think is so perfect for like the New Year's Eve time. It's like a satin with silver hardware. And this part here is like silver and pink trim on the handle. It's absolutely fantastic, right? I love it. So there is this, and I just think it's perfect like going out back, waking up for dinner. It doesn't have to necessarily be a party, but like cocktails, night out, and you just have this, and then you just like, you know, you've got your drink, or you're just like going to a dinner, you just put this on the table, and it's small enough where it can sit on the table too. Or if you're going to an event, 
you know it's not going to like overwhelm any dress because it's such a beautiful size so there is this and then also from Jimmy Choo because we know that they're known for their shoes these stunning white or slightly off-white slingback kitten heeled shoes pointy toe with a floral kind of applique detail I have always loved these particular shoes when I first saw them during I think it was Milan Paris was it Milan or Paris I think it was Milan Fashion Week anyway it was in Europe and I just absolutely adore these I remember seeing them in black and in this off-white kind of color but this was the color that I loved the most out of the two and this is the color that I ended up getting so thank you so much Jimmy Choo for seeing me and for offering and extending this to me because this is like I feel like this is a dream brand to know that they see little me you know on the internet of uh, everyone else out there so this this really does mean a lot I and mean, it looks so good I could almost wear it with what I have on because you know I have on the um the Ganny jeans these ones which like the long like wide hem I could see these with them as well because like just have like the the white pointy part just like peeking out I think that looks so cool anyway the flowers the little heel super wearable this is going to go with so many things casual like jeans and a t-shirt or an oversized button-down shirt or like a jumper and jeans or peeking out just like under a long mini skirt you know dresses I love them <laughs> now from Prada Beauty I also received these two yin and yang perfumes you've probably seen these around i know i have i love the signature design and the way they sit on the side i think it's such an interesting packaging especially in the world of perfumes i think it's getting harder and harder to sort of stand out against the noise and i think this is such a sort of interesting way to like you know present perfumes and they each have their own signature kind of scent to them so it's definitely something that i would recommend you definitely try yourself i personally prefer the lighter one between the two but it doesn't matter because I love the fact that I have the other one as well if I want something that um, I want to be like a slightly different to the lighter I'm just smell it in the air why was just a-l-e-x-a -E just going off did you hear her let's see oh, that one is so floral so floral I don't want to sneeze let me just smell this one as well hold on oh god I want to sneeze it's coming it's coming hold on I knew that was gonna happen okay here we go the darker one oh this one is like warmer a hint of being sweeter a hint so this is warmer and the other one is like a sort of a floral right which is the lighter one and I'm sure you can probably and I'm sure they are designed that way where you could probably like wear them together so I really love these two and I actually just did a um, shoot that I'm going to be posting in feed it probably won't be by the, by the time you see this video but I will on my Instagram I'll show you a couple of pictures here I just did it with showing off these perfumes and I wanted to because I just think they're such an interesting shape it would make for interesting sort of like poses like showing them off because I just really like the shape of them anyway it's just like my sort of creativeness sort of coming into it we're just thinking of different ways to like pose and like just to show them but anyway so I loved those and then another gift is actually I'm wearing it it's on my wrist and it is a gift from Michael I was not expecting anything from him because usually during Christmas time we don't sort of and it's the same with our birthdays it's the same with our anniversaries we don't normally what's going on with my hair we don't sort of acknowledge these times by giving each other something like tangible like a gift because we gift each other throughout throughout the year um, and it's not necessarily tangible things but we believe more I, I think and I'll speak for him as well in experiences to me those in itself are a luxury whether it's a trip somewhere, it can be overseas or it can be within your own city, times alone at home, you know, we, we gift each other in, in different ways outside of here is this that I have for you, this box. So when he got me this, I was just like, huh? This is going against what we do, which is we don't see these 
milestones in the year, throughout the year, as an opportunity to buy each other something because we, that's, it's, it's more than that for us. But anyway, I, I really appreciate what he had, he got me because it's something that I've actually had my eye on. It is in silver, so it's got a really casual feel to it, which is the T bracelet. And I cannot tell you how happy I am to have this. It was a complete shock. I, I was shocked to see a, a Tiffany box or any box from him. Cause like I said, we just, we gift in different ways outside of like a, a thing. So I wasn't expecting that genuinely wasn't expecting that and then it was from tiffany i was like what is inside that and then some of you were guessing and you were saying oh it's the bone cuff it's a bone cuff and the bone cuff is beautiful but i think now that now that i have this i feel like this would be more long term because this i mean it goes with what i'm wearing now do you know what i mean it's just very kind of like it's more casual that i can just wear it stacked i'm wearing it with um permanent jewelry piece from Catbird, which is this ultra thin gold um, bracelet. It doesn't come off, but obviously I you to take a scissors and take it off because it's super, super thin, but I love that about it. But it just stacks so well with anything that I have, whether it's other metal bracelets, beaded type of bracelets, leather bracelets that have silver hardware on it. I'm very much getting more into like moving away from only gold in terms of like jewelry and bags as well into silver and uh, mixing silvers and, and golds as well. So like, for example, my Rolex watch is silver and gold together. So the two of them, they just work super well together. So I love the versatility of this and the fact that I can just wear it all the time. A cuff from like the bone cuffs from Tiffany, they're beautiful but I feel like they're way more of a statement than you can wear every day. This, all the time, I can wear this. I put my watch on, I put my bracelet on. After that, I'm good. It's up to me if I'm gonna stack anything further or just wear this by itself. And I love it just like this, by itself, uh, if I so wish as well. So that's kind of it. I said to you in this video that I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna get for Michael because he might be watching this video and he's actually downstairs. So I don't want to sort of talk too much about you know that side of things so if my if you're watching michael hello i'm not going to say anything but i already know what i'm going to get for you i don't think i've talked too much about my hair have i have i um i'm just going to give you a brief synopsis i mean i've been talking about it already on tiktok quite a bit i've just been really in a phase of my life where i'm just in sounds so dramatic but i'm just into right now just mixing up my hair because i have natural hair under this um, it's braided or cane road at the moment. Um, and it's, I just grew out all the chemical relaxer, which I had for years. Over time, my hair was just getting drier and drier. Then I colored it on top of the relaxer. So it was getting even drier. No, ma no matter how much I um, deep conditioned it, it was still getting dry. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna try and grow this thing out and figure this out as I go along. And that's exactly what I did. So I grew out my relaxer. And when it got to the very end, I cut it off. So, yeah, I was just rocking like an afro for a while, which I coloured as well. And my hair was also very dry, so it was natural and coloured, but dry because of the colouring. So that was a signature I did for a while, and I loved it, and I know a lot of you did too. But wearing like hair pieces, extensions, and anything like this, I don't know. It's just, to me, I just feel like hair is an extension of your personal style. It also says something about you without anyone having to say anything, just like clothes do. And I often think that your styling starts from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. It doesn't start from here downwards because your hair, right? It can really transform not only what you look like, but also what your outfit, kind of the vibe of your outfit from going like edgy to going boho to going anything in between. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I've always been a big believer of that. So that's why I'm kind of experimenting so much. So this is just one of them. And you know, I have like the long hair. I have like, I've worn like big hair before. I remember when my hair was relaxed, chemically relaxed and really, really short. I had like a profile, like, um, I used to show on my blog all the time. Anyway, so it's just a matter of me just, I don't know, I'm just really loving playing with my hair. And sometimes I just do this. Well, just tuck it behind my ear like this 
and it's just me playing really with my style and I just love that kind of versatility that you can have with your hair, with your whole look and just, it's fun. It's playtime for me, so that's why I do it. Yeah, it's as simple as that, it's just fun. I got this hair from a random beauty supply store in um, Harlem and what else can I say? You can get it on Amazon as well, but I got this one in, I just go to Harlem, I don't live too far from there, so I just, you know, just drive and go and get a couple of them. Um, I also reach out to a couple of women on Instagram who make fantastic wigs as well, and they're so, so cool. One is called At The Wig House, I've mentioned her before on my Instagram and here as well, At The Wig House, H-A-U-S. So her name is Robin, but that's her at handle on Instagram. Reach out to her, tell her that Karen sent you from Karen Britchick. Um, if you're interested in anything, just go to her page on Instagram and just have a look, scroll through and see, she's super talented. So her, and there's also someone else, Miss Inches, with a Z on the end, uh, another one who does really good hair, and I, I, worn, I wear her hair a lot. So yeah, it's just playing with all these different styles, from short to long, to curly, to bone straight, to dark, to coppery, caramel colored hair, without damaging my own. And that's the beauty of it. So it's just like a performer on stage where you just like, you know, the women, they, they have their own hair, but then they wear like these and they just wear like, it's like Beyonce. She's probably got like a massive wardrobe of just hair alone. So it's just, it's the smartest thing to do when you want to like change your look on the fly to go with whatever you're wearing, but you don't want to compromise the health of your own hair. Just got in, just picked up my laptop. What do I need to do now? I need to send this to be uploaded, to be edited, and then I need to, I have to actually work out. I've been trying to continue. That's one thing this year is just continue just exercising. So I'm gonna do a routine at home, um, have something to eat, cook, eat, and continue watching Marcella on Netflix. Remember, please comment below and let me know, I know that always rhymes, your favorite gritty, show to watch on Netflix. I've seen Line of Duty, I've seen Happy Valley, I've seen Luther, the best. Um, I'm watching Marcella now, what else? I'm watching Lupin, all that, that's a bit more lighthearted. The ones, that, these other ones are really kind of like gritty, feel very like, you know, no frills, kind of graphic, really like dark killers. I've been like that since I was like this high, loving watching these, I'm just fascinated by these kind of detective shows. Anyway, anyone else like that, comment below, let me know your favorite. I just realize this is the last video before New Year's, before 2024. So, okay, so I'm just gonna say now, Happy New Year to everyone, and thank you for subscribing to my world. <laughs> thank you, I, I mean, I, my job is because of you. So that's the long and short of it. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for purchasing anything from my clothing line collection. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for leaving comments under my YouTube videos. Thanks for following me on my TikTok, which I'm trying to grow as my baby. And I'm really trying to like, you know, up the amount of like videos that I do on it and just post you know, more unique content over there. So thank you for helping me and for posting on there because that's that's really been helping me a lot right now is just growing and trying to, you know, like get my TikTok up a bit better than I have at the moment. And also obviously on my Instagram as well. I really appreciate every single person. Thank you for being here. I've been doing this for a long time now. You know I'm an OG. And to my OG subscribers, as well as my new subscribers, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, not just watching, but hitting subscribe. That really does mean a lot because it makes it official that we are like the YouTube fan and it makes a huge difference to me. But I'm gonna go now. What else I want to say? Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, I'll see you next year. <laughs> wow, I can't, believe, I can't believe I'm actually saying that. I'll see you next year. Obviously, you know where you're gonna see me between this Friday and next, right? What am I gonna say? I will see you on TikTok and I will see you on Instagram, okay? Take care, my loves. Have a good New Year's Eve, whatever you do. And I will see you then. <laughs>